So as promised for my lovely Scorpio subscribers, a uh, singles read for you guys. So I'm doing it on Lionsgate 8 8 so let's see what's coming forward. Don't shoot the messenger guys. Don't shoot the messenger, it's not my fault. Who's gonna come forward? Let's see. We'll use some romance angels first as we're looking for singles and who's coming forward in love at this time. <laughs> Let go of codependency and new love. Stay optimistic, guys. See how happy I was about that new love? <laughs> A little too happy, huh? And passion, yep. I'm all for it. Um, bring it on. This could be the one. Da -da 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 -da. I love it already. I'm way too excited about this read, right, guys? I'm way too excited about this. So, single Scorpios, who's coming towards us? Sorry about the angle camera of the camera. Oh, so, <laughs> past life relationship, and this could be the one. You've already known each other before, so we are at a time where we will be meeting like um, karmic soulmates, so it's not negative when I say karmic, okay, it's past life relationships, okay guys? Sorry if my nose tickles, that's why I faced the camera the other way when spirits downloading, my nose tickles. So you could be meeting somebody who you could spend the rest of your life with. And I get a hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Scorpio, as you know. So, yes, yeah, single Scorps. Yeah, we love this. So, uh, we'll feel a really deep connection with them because um, of the past life relationship connection. So, <laughs> I'm too excited. <laughs> I can't even hide my face like very soon we're going to clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now i will say in the last scorpio video i said nobody asks me out and i went to buy a new phone and everybody was asking me out so be careful what you throw out there guys because it was just every random person was like hey how do i get your number i'm like i haven't got a phone <laughs> i'm coming to buy one phone and then the guy in the phone shop asked me out so Guys, clearly decide what you want. You know, if you want this forever type of love, decide that because somebody's coming in. We are at that time, you know. So let's see. Let's see. These are the mythical tarot deck 78. Um, they have 78 different illustrators. So I can't write all of them down, I'm sorry. I got them from an American site, guys, so I'll put some the link in the well, I won't put the link in the description box because I don't know it. I don't have my old phone anymore, but let's see. 333 on the clock. So you've been stuck still quite a while. Um probably going through an awakening with the hangman here. Um, feeling stuck and, you know, maybe just getting yourself together, not making any moves at the moment. Um, so, yeah, you could have been on your own a while or, you know, just going through an awakening here because um, the hangman is enlightened. So, yeah, you know, you've come this big beam of light around his head here. You know, you could have been working on yourself and not really focused on the dating world, but now you are ready to make moves with the hangman. You know, you're looking at things differently, whole new perspective there, you know, major changes with the hanged man there. I love it. Star card jumping out, you know, um, meeting your destiny. These cards are on top of each other. The hanged man is on top of the past life relationship. So yeah, you're definitely going to meet somebody you're destined to meet here, um, heading towards somebody. Somebody is coming in very soon. Could be an Aquarius. Um, 
that you meet, um, but star signs, I don't really like to call them out because this is just somebody who you are destined to meet. You're going to bump into them. Like I say, you're going to have all these admirers around you at this time. You could have been holding back, you know, focusing on you or your spiritual growth with the hangman. And um, now you're ready. Now you're ready to come unstuck from this. You're sick of hanging around. You're ready to get on track with the star card there and start moving forward. As my face suggested, me too. So, yeah, clearly decide what you want, guys. Like I said, I kept saying um, I need to get a new phone. And then that thing happened to me and I had to get a new phone. But who knows, you know, the phone shop guy just asked me out. So, hey, maybe I'll accept. Nine of Pentacles, look at that. You are abundant right now on your own because of this, because of these things you learned, because of these lessons you went through, because you're looking at things differently. This is like man you're on track right now like i'm ready i've grown i see things differently now i'm looking at things from a new angle things are going good if they if you say to me like things aren't going good um maybe you're still in this hangman phase and you know um you need to start viewing things differently like I'm all about today about being thankful and grateful for what we have good in our life. So focus on that so that more positivity can come in. But this is like being okay with yourself. You're going to get that extra boost of confidence during Leo season. You know, um, you're going to be feeling good. You're going to be looking good with the nine of pentacles. You could be spending money on yourself here, you know, getting your hair done, whatever, getting your nails done, taking care of you looking good here and confident here and this is what's drawing people in so let's see yeah yeah two of two of ones there we go lion's gate i was just uh saying this in the main lion's gate read here it's like it always reminds me of the lava song um yeah i forgot to add it but here you know it's like i'm looking for somebody to love and um you're open to offers here because you're single you're abundant you know um you've been through hermit mode and you stood still while in hermit mode but now now's the time to follow your destined path make moves and um you know this is like options coming in you have options because you look so good because you're confident within yourself you know people will be drawn to this light around you this is like um moths to a flame they're coming here you know so you're gonna have options here with the two of wands um the choice will be in your hands here you know You may be leaving the door open here for somebody from the past or you may have been and now you're deciding to move forward with that two of wands. You may, you know, just like look back, but like it is what it is. You know, I'm looking at it totally different now. I've got to keep it moving with this two of wands. The lovers, so, uh, you have a divine partner coming in. OK, at this time, so enjoy it you know really embrace it here again it could be a gemini i don't like saying signs but this is just somebody who you're meant to be with okay this is somebody you're meant to be with check out these cards like past life relationship this could be the one the star card here this is somebody you're destined to be with here you had to follow your destined path like this is looking back and realizing getting hindsight things had to go this way i had to follow this path so that i could meet this person you know my last love you know i don't you know i learned my lessons here this is like i've learned my lessons here now you know i had to stand still for a little bit get myself back on top get myself together here and, you know, now the offers are just pouring in and the choice is mine. So you might, like I say, with this card, I feel like you might look back a little bit like, but it's like the closing date is 12th of August. 
If you're not back by then, this gate's closed to the past. Okay, so um, that's some of you there. I feel like, you know, you're like, I gave myself a time. If you didn't come back in this time, I'm keeping it moving forward towards my dreams, my hopes here. And, you know, I will find this destined partner, somebody who can keep it moving with me, somebody who I'm meant to be with here. This will be like, you know, you could have gone through like, I think I seen a saying, you meet the, um, you know, biggest, mis before you meet the love of your life, you'll go through the biggest mistake of your life. That's what I feel like. I'm looking back and I'm learning here um, with the hangman and um, yeah, I'm looking back like I'm thankful I went through those stuff. Now I can see what I deserve. There's lots of major arcana here. Three out of five cards are major arcana. So this is like what you've learned is going to stick with you now through your life. And this is why you're so abundant. You know, this is why you're confident that, okay, when I meet somebody, because I know what I want now, this is going to last. This is going to work out. I know what I'm willing to accept. I know what I won't accept with the two of wands. I know that. If it isn't right for me, I'm strong enough to walk away and keep following my path here because I've learned these lessons here, you know. But, you know, I'm going to find the other half of me here, somebody who I'm meant to be with. Damn, I love this reading. I can't wait. I can't wait here. You know, they're coming in very soon. Like I said, clearly decide what you want so that, you know, it can come into you because don't just say things on a whim like me because you're attracting in things right now. You're abundant. You're manifesting. So all this goodness is coming in to you. So, you know, and this is about deciding and it's on the clearly decide card it's about making a choice. Maybe write it down here. You know, oh, OK, this is what I want. I want this sort of person i want them to treat me this way how i treat them anything like that you know it's going to be different for each person here chariot success so i feel like during cancer season you will have overcome certain things and then you're like i'm gonna keep it moving forward so, you know, um, Ju uh, July there, you're going to, you kept it moving. You're like, it was a bit rough, but I got through this. Okay. I handled it like a boss here. Like I'm getting over all these emotions. These are all like skulls here. Um, you know, she, her mom's the queen of, um, the above world surface. Her dad's the queen of the underground and she is the master of both. I always view this card more like a Scorpio um, because of the death and being able to transition. So you could have been going through transitioning as well. Like you can go between the light and the dark and, you know, you're going to be successful in both places here. OK, this is like moving forward. This is the chariot and the star. This is a destined event that's going to happen. Nothing's going to stop it with the chariot. OK, nothing's going to stop you guys meeting another major arcana there. So definitely indications of a very long term partner here. I feel like um, you'll be attracted to um, the way they think, um, but the way they love. Um, so you're going to have very interesting conversations with them. I feel like they're going to be quite tall. Yeah, with dark hair. They may like have something. Um, they may have something like something on their face. So it might be like the say if they're of dark skin and they have green eyes or blue eyes, something um, that stands out that isn't doesn't usually go with that race, shall we say. 
um, you know, it's going to be some, yeah, that's green as well. Yeah, so maybe that they have um, green eyes here, but it could be like that they, are, if they're of more fair skin, that their hair is, you know, like strawberry blonde or lighter coloured as well here. So it's going to be something, um, there's going to be one thing that draws you to this person and then you love the conversations with them, how they think, um, maybe that they are like you, um, you know, like um, the darker thing, learning about the darker things in life sort of thing, like Scorpios. I, I watch like, um, or I used to watch um, like, what's it called that? sure like crime watch daily or something maybe they're into something like that the same as you you have going to have the same sort of hobbies here yeah something something about the faith there maybe they're just really attractive four of cups okay this four of cups in this book it says don't be such an introvert that you don't accept offers because like I said you could be getting them from all over the place right now yeah this is not of oh I'm not receiving any offers or you know or, I'm going to miss an offer this is like don't be such an introvert you know get outside and meet people if you're cutting yourself off from the world um this may be why you're not receiving any offers like me I'm like I don't get any offers well I sit in front of my camera most days so nobody's going to be able to make me offers are they so it's common sense you know get out in the world if you feel like you aren't receiving any offers um because there are offers out there that you are not seeing okay I, and I feel like you could be a little bit bored on waiting on, on offers, maybe like while you went through this hangman stage, um, you may be bored, okay? So you're like, I'm ready now. I'm ready to get out there in the world. I'm ready to accept these offers. Um, yeah, so you could have been a little bit bored and want to get out there. So you're feeling like, yeah, I want to date somebody. Like, um, you know, the, I've been through this hangman stage. I know what I want now. I'm feeling confident within myself. I'm feeling good. Um, so, yeah, now I know, you know, I want to get out in the world. It's just like the final step, getting out in the world so that people can actually make you these offers. Okay, guys? Queen of, uh, sorry, it's not the queen. Um, she just looks like a queen, doesn't she? Seven of Pentacles, yeah, tired of waiting. I'm done waiting for anybody. I'm done waiting for any offers, you know, um, anybody who's not making any moves or, um, you know, keeping it moving or things like that. Yeah, you're done waiting for anybody here. Uh, I feel like, you know, you're quite content with the past. You're like, yeah, it is what it is. I'm moving on here. I'm, I'm done waiting. But it's... The Seven of Pentacles, we always say, you know, it's a waiting card and um, things like that. Most of all, the Seven of Pentacles is, is taking stock, okay? So some of you could be like, you know, I'm still like not fully there yet. I'm not fully ascended um, with my crown chakra. Um, maybe I'm not ready to get out and meet people just yet, but I'm almost there because I'm nearly at the Ten of Pentacles, I've nearly completed this cycle. Um, so it's like, I'm being happy and grateful for where you're at um, because usually it shows um, a woman who's already picked um, Seven Pentacles, you know, and she has fruit in her basket. So, you know, it's like taking stock of how far you've come, how much you've grown as well. Um, so, Maybe some of you aren't in such a rush, but you're open to these offers and how you may feel like they're coming in too slow. Like I said, get out in the world, get out in the world so people can make you these offers. If you feel like there's no offers coming into you, it's because you're not getting yourself out there. OK, you may have been waiting to hear from somebody and it just hasn't come. So what the Lion's Gate will do for you guys who have been waiting to hear or get receive an offer for somebody from somebody that didn't come. You're going to move on now. OK, like the illusions fall away and you are happy to move on now.
And it's like you take what you've learned, like in this video, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. You're just like, I'm ready to um, move on from that. I'm, I'm happy to continue to grow here. Um, maybe at a steady pace, but you know, steady is better than no pace at all, isn't it? So if you are finding that you're torn between um, you know, waiting and things like that. It's because you're overthinking the situation. You're trying to overthink, like, how do I meet somebody? Um, do I do I go on dating apps? You know, where do people find friends? You know, how do I meet somebody? Um, I feel like um, you can meet people like in everyday, like I said, in everyday life. You're just gonna. This person, believe you me. Don't worry that you won't meet them. This is the Eight of Swords. It's like trapping yourself with thoughts rather than getting out there and taking action here. Okay, so don't tie yourself down with thoughts. Um, this person, you're going to bump into them. There's no way you're not going to bump into them, okay? Um, this is just like telling yourself, like, I'm stuck, Maybe some of you are like, well, I can't get out because I'm a single parent. Um, you, you're not stuck. The time will come. OK, um, you may feel like there is some sort of restrictions holding you back or you're feeling stuck here for some reason. Like I said, many things could be holding you back, but you could be like a single parent who can't get out, maybe. And um, but something. Let me check with another deck of cards here. like why you feel stuck um because with the eight of pent uh, sorry eight of um swords um you know you're not stuck it's just your thoughts it's just something you feel you're not seeing yet so maybe if you were waiting for an offer from the past let's say um you is it really over with them are they coming back am i meant to be with that one so if you're focused on somebody from your past being the one and they haven't come back and made you an offer i feel like when we get to the end of lion's gate um on august 12th um then all that sort of illusions will fall away if they haven't come back and made contact they're not the one okay Okay, Seven of Swords. So you're worried like maybe deception is holding you back. Um, again, another seven with the Seven of Pentacles there speaks of think, having to overcome things to be able to get unstuck or you feel like, you know, um, what if the same thing happens again? What if somebody cheats on me again? You know, what if I'm left waiting again? What if, You know, all sorts of challenges here. Like I say, it's a general read, but it could just be like, maybe I don't have enough money to get myself out because it is seven of pentacles. So why are you feeling stuck? Oh, sorry. A, a car going past. Okay. So, page of pentacles, um, nine of cups, and the judgment card so like i said sorry i'm sat on my foot um so you, you're waiting on an offer um you're hoping for an offer it's like you're feeling like well like when i was saying the other day in my video nobody's making any offers i'm open to offers nobody's making any offers if i'm getting offers maybe this person isn't quite up to my standard well then you wait for the right person okay um so yeah, if you're away, if you've got schooling or, you know, work and that sort of thing, if that sort of thing's in the way for you, you know, you don't have enough time um, to get out and meet people, the divine will make time. You could meet them at work. OK, so don't worry about any of that. Your wish will be granted here with the nine of cups there. So, yeah, don't focus on any of the negative that, OK, um, you know, this the last person cheated on me. Um, the last person was in this page energy, immature and things like that. Um, you know, the time's coming now. OK, Lionsgate is like Judgment Day. So all these sort of illusions will fall away. OK, if you've been working on yourself, a person like that won't 
um, come again for you, okay? So if you're feeling stuck, like I say, um, with the judgment card, where there's a will, there's a way. Page of Pentacles again. So waiting on offers and actually being able to accept the offers or the offers coming in quite slowly um, is what's holding you back. You know, maybe you're getting offers, but these people aren't really worthy of your energy, your time. Um, just about waiting for the right offer. With the page, okay, the pages are about new beginnings. So you've got to give people a chance as well, okay? This is what this four of um, cups speaks of as well. Giving somebody a chance. So um, maybe immediately you don't find them attractive or something. Maybe like, oh, they're not my type or, you know, you've got to have... Because you've got to have that first initial attraction to somebody. So... It's like, you know, I'm not getting offers from what I like or what my type is, okay? So giving somebody a chance, okay? Um, I feel like this will grow into something big, okay? So maybe after you start having a conversation and start learning about them with this page of pentacles, you'll definitely start, they'll start to grow on you here, okay? So Scorpios... Those offers are coming in. Trust me, this is going to be well worth the wait. If you feel they're coming slow with that Seven of Pentacles, these are worth the wait. Look at these cards. Tell me this is not the one. This is the one. I can't wait to meet them. 